Say hello to our little custody friend. Spiky bits. What's up, Hobby Maniacs? I'm Rob Bear, and today we are taking a look at the painted version of this Imperial Knight with Custode Upgrade Parts 3D printed from our friends over at Shapeways. Gadgets Plus, of course, he did all those cool 3D upgrade parts for all the knights out there. Uh, this guy's stuff rocks. We've been showing it for so many years. We finally got it all painted up and looking fresh here. And then boom, Games Workshop's Games like, you get gold guys. And I'm like, yay, I love gold guys. <laughs> you don't even understand. I'm going to set them down before I drop them. Because you all know I'm going to do it. You were just waiting to see when it would happen. So here's Gadget Plus store. Make sure you type in plus with the actual symbol not plus the word because if you do a google search for it or you just click in the link below of course in the video uh it will come up with some interesting things that you probably are not interested in <laughs> so this is the way to go okay obviously we're over on the shapeway site which has all those dope 3d parts from all sorts of different sellers here is uh commander quiche's offerings lots of stuff in here it's got some new uh, I guess you could get this Knight Substitute Upgrade Head here. And it looks like he's got some new shoulder pads that I didn't know about either. Those are cool. I did not, did not know this was a thing. So those would definitely look cool. Very Terminator-y putting those over top of the Knight. But the stuff that we have here is the faceplate, the shin plate set, these two shoulder guards, the hip plates, and the toe guards crotch plate, eagle claws for the Thunderstrike gauntlet, and the knee fan set. And there's lots of other upgrades over here. I definitely recommend you going through the whole site and seeing what all he has available over here, but lots of cool upgrades. And of course, you know, they are a little pricey when you're already talking about a $150 kit, you're talking about another at least $100 in the upgrades. But, you know, at the end of the day, this is kind of what we do and it is a hobby and you are going to spend a little bit of money on it and to make something really sweet and customized it is going to cost a little bit more money and i think you know that's why boutique sellers such as forge world exist and then all the other folks out there uh as well from you know upgrade sellers to just whole kits the, the stuff that you can find out there this is a bear to hold on to now this particular kit here we did it all from scratch i didn't glue it all down because you know sometimes that's just not really an option that you want to do but you can see we've got all the great detail right here all the little swirls and the studs and everything for the custode styling of all of that now there isn't an upgrade piece for the carapace but these two shoulders are definitely part of it and then you can see the head right there as well once we kind of try holding it all together it's like trying to herd cats here at this point and the shin plates Definitely striking, very striking, kind of a bit of an homage back to the Contemptors from Forge World. There you can see the hip plates too, and the crotch plate itself. And everything is fitting in there. Now overall, we magnetized this whole thing. I actually didn't even glue it down to the base because we're doing a giveaway for this bad boy over on Twitch. And I wasn't sure, you know, what kind of base the persons that might win its army will be on. So I figured, well, you can just make the base detachable. Like I said, it's all magnetized and we'll have a video coming out on how to magnetize. This will be the second video actually. I figured out a better way to do it. So I wanted to magnetize and uh, show you guys how to do it because you can actually do a lot more movement here when you magnetize all of the joints. So I've probably seen some of the pictures I posted up with this guy with like all the crazy poses. You couldn't do much about this leg structure here unfortunately, but um, you know it is what it is but the, all of this switches out you can get the Thunderstrike gauntlet which is a talon if you get the upgrade parts from gadgets plus this thing's pretty cool looking and you know kind of has that whole emperor obviously a custode kind of guard feel if you want to run the errant if you want to just go pure daca of course all of got all the options here all the night titans all the parts you can magnetize pretty much the whole kit and then let's see we'll put that thermal cannon on this bad boy right here and then you start to see it kind of change shape right before your eyes with all the different parts 
it's just a very, very, very cool kit in and of itself. But then when you add all those upgrade parts, it's really, really starting uh, to look fresh. Now, as far as the paints go, we painted this with Scale 75's uh, gold and reds and silvers. Pretty much all Scale 75 on this bad boy right here. We will have a video coming out that shows how we did the metals. As far as the reds go, it was just, uh, I don't think we've done a video on the reds from Scale. So let me show you what those particular ones were. This is out of their Scale 75 line. Deep Red, Blood Red, and Antares Red worked all the way up. And I think I cut it back with a little umber at the end. I'm not sure if Scale has a burnt umber offering. I haven't been able to find it at this point, so I've just been using Vallejos. But other than that, uh, amazing paints. I mean, you can tell the blending on this is exquisite. Everything uh, looks so fresh on this particular model right here. And they sell little sets. You can get a set of eight of the, the silvers, a set of eight of these. And I think they actually have a set of the reds, but it's gonna come with some oranges and, and other stuff like that too, if you wanna uh, do a kind of a study in reds or something. Uh, definitely recommend picking up the metals for sure. The reds are obviously optional. Oh, and the heat scoring we did with the secret weapon, sweet heats as I like to call them, because I love me some buffalo wings. We did those with the Sweet Heats Triad from Secret Weapon Miniatures as well, which is also another tutorial here on the channel. I guess I guess I got a bunch of tutorials to link <laughs> below, so I'm sure there will be a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton of different links below in the description field. But let's talk about points real quick. Let's talk about what these actually do in the game and why they are so cool. Of course, this is the index. We don't have the dedicated codex for the knights yet unfortunately i'm sure we will at some point they do have a new stratagem uh, out of the chapter proof to allow you to rotate your ion shield uh well it's called rotate ion shield i think it just gives you an extra uh, plus one invulnerable or something like that for a command point it's not that great but it's better than nothing and it, they ported over from the admet codex so you've got your errant your paladin your Warden, your Gallant, and your Crusader, all of which can be made with the one kit if you magnetize everything up. And you can kind of see the points values there from 389 for the Gallant, which is your two close combats, all the way up to 506 at the most expensive for the Crusader, which is gonna come with the Gatling Cannon and the Thermal Cannon, a Stubber, a Flamer, and Titanic Feet. Overall, I mean, you know, these things are definitely priced uh, point-wise around the points of a Bane Blade with about as many wounds, 24, as I think Bane Blades have 26, you know, toughness 8. They do degrade hitting-wise. They don't hit on the best. I would like to see for their points them hitting on a 2, but it uh, makes it a little bit more difficult in-game. You don't really have anything to get rerolls besides spending command points to get rerolls. So... It would be nice to just get a reroll once. I could definitely see that maybe in the future, them getting some sort of bonus in a codex. Because when you're spitting like 12 shots at threes and you're spending 500 points, that's a jagged little pill to swallow. It would be a lot easier and definitely kind of make it worth the risk of putting this on the table and getting it shot off in the first turn to be able to unleash that much dock, I suppose. You know, it's a risk versus reward. You put enough things in your army, you'll have something it's turn two to shoot with and Hopefully, well, that will help to carry the day on the tabletop. Uh, you can get the, the Ion Shield come stock, 5 open vulnerable. You can do the strategy amount of uh, the chapter approved book. It's a super heavy walker. It does explode. So it can fall back and then shoot and charge back in. And, uh, it can actually move over infantry units, but it has to be one inch away. So it's kind of got a semi-fly mechanic, but not really because at movement of 12 inches, it may not always be able to escape if it's been damaged down to six kind of type deal. Another thing I like about it is the Titanic Feet. You're going to get 12 attacks if you select that to hit with, or if you're going to use your, well, it isn't on here, but if you're going to use your Reaper Chain Sword, this is an Ender of Men. This is going to deal 6 damage at a neg 3. So they might have, whatever you're attacking, might have an invulnerable. Would you get one of you slide one of these through on them? They are going to probably crush whatever small non vehicle unit you are attacking with one failed save right there. This thing is straight damage to the dome piece 
wrecking fool's days right there if you close and you are able to get those attacks and again hitting on threes kind of a kick in the pants but there's definitely hoping that they kind of change all that in the future uh at least um in in the codex but i imagine we might not see a knight codex until 2019 which i'm okay with but at the frenetic rate of the release schedule for codexes i wouldn't be surprised if we see it this year to be quite honest Let's jump over to take a look at this a little bit closer, show you all the great details under some better light, and of course, put it in motion for you. Well, that's it for this one, folks. Thanks for checking out our hobby showcase on this little guy right here, our Custody Imperial Knight. Now, make sure you check out our Twitch channel here for your chance to win this bad boy over there coming up very shortly. Now, remember to work out your hobby muscles, hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications so you can be the very first to like and comment on our videos here on YouTube. And head on over to spikybits.com for all those great hobby articles. Deleted scenes, bonus content, and all the interviews and post-game wrap-up videos can be located in the Hall of Veterans on thelongward.net. Visit thelongward.net today and try a week completely free with no strings attached. That's not all. Thelongward.net is also your hobby resource for exclusive early access with an ad-free experience to all your favorite videos. Members of the Hall of Veterans gain early exclusive access to multiple hobby videos.